This multi-purpose event rental venue in New Orleans is, is known for making and hosting functions and parties and making them seamlessly smooth and, and really worry-free. The staff there is phenomenal. Whether it's a, a small gathering or a grand occasion, the joy has, has set such high standards for every kind of party rental service in New Orleans. The staff is helpful, knowledgeable, professionals that will walk you through all the steps and be at your service. That's what's so important about New Orleans and, and, uh, and a venue like this. To know more about coming upcoming events in New Orleans, just click on their um, website, www.thejoytheater.com. I invite you to explore their site, discover how many different programs and things they got going on, how they can assist you in providing just what you need for an impeccable event. Again, that's thejoytheater.com. And in just a moment, I'm going to tell you guys about what's coming at the Sanger and what's coming at the Joy for the next few weeks up but first just a quick message from one of our sponsors for this quarter of the show i'm going to let you in on a little secret professorpools.com professorpools.com if you have a broken swimming pool a broken spa your pool needs to be chemically treated it's green it's nasty it's whatever from you just didn't touch it for six months or five months during the winter and it's green and nasty call professorpools.com look them up on the internet got a beautiful website professorpools.com well, let's first talk about what's going on over at the joy now on friday 519 by wcp hangout fest and 1061 the underground presents band of horses that's joshua james the doors open at 8 p.m the show's at 9 p.m and monday 6 5 joy productions presents the bacon brothers now the bacon brothers the one of the brothers was the footloose guy and you know foot loose anyway the uh, doors open at 7 30 show is at 8 30 sunday 6 11 fat tire presents tour de fat featuring kari harper uh shows at 7 p.m sunday 8 13 little yachty teenage tour doors open at 7 shows at 8 sunday 8 27 is maddie b maddie b feet the hack sack sisters and that's a special VIP meet and greet after the show at 8 p.m. The doors open at 5 and the show is at 6. I heard that is really a pretty decent show. Friday, 9-1, Joy Productions presents the Boyfriend 5th Annual Birthday Extravaganza. Doors are at 8. Show is at 9. Now, Friday, 9-15, The Hansons. That's AEG Live presents Hanson's 25th Anniversary Tour. The doors open at 7, show is at 8, and tickets are from $39.50 to $64.50. That's, and we're going to, let's talk about the Sanger Theater a little bit. Now, of course, I, I discussed the Joy Theater and, you know, all its restorations, but the South's grandest theater was designed by Emily Wheel. The Sanger Theater was built by Julian Sanger in 1927, and it was for the therefore unheard of price of $2.5 million. Advertisements of the day described it as an acre of seats in a garden of Florentine splendor. Today, the interior atmosphere designs, um, design creates a magnificent 15th century Italian courtyard and gardens with arched surroundings, columns, and, and decorative moldings. The suspension 
of disbelief is completely by a blue domed sky ceiling complete with twinkling stars. Greek and Roman statues line the walls and the statues of Venus stand on pedestals along the upper rim of the auditorium. In 2005, the Sanger was was destroyed by Hurricane Katrina, and it was it was a huge loss for us in the city of New Orleans. Yet within months of the storm, a a groundswell of interest in the renovation and reopening of the theater began to grow and grow and grow. And in December of 2011, the agreements to restore the theater were finalized. The $53 million project served at, to anchor uh, revitalization of Canal Street and the, the New Orleans Central Business di- District and act as, you know, kind of an economic generator attracting visitors from New Orleans and the Gulf South region to enjoy the, the very finest in live entertainment available. The Sanga Theater reopened its doors in September 2013. And, you know, I'm a theater goer. My, my wife and, and my kids, we all are theater goers. And this restoration was a, a national rehabilitation tax credit project whose scope of the construction served to uh, restore this historic 1927 movie palace and transform it into this first into a you know a first class state of the art performing arts theater the restored sanger theater features beautifully restored lobbies and auditorium seating area with with carpeting and lighting fixtures and 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 the lighting in that place is, is fantastic all recreated from the originals but with latest technology Expanded restrooms and concessions, the facilities ensure the greatest comfort for the patrons. The expanded theater stage hours, house, I'm not hours, I'm thinking hours, house will be equipped with a state of art theatrical system, ensuring the Sanger will be the most technically advanced theater in the South. And on a side note, the Sanger is partnered with the Mahalia Jackson Theater. And they, when they sent over the information for me, they made sure they, they sent me the bio from Mahalia Jackson. And, and it's such a fascinating read, and I thought I'd share that with you also. Now, Jessica Lang Dance on um, yesterday, uh, May 13th, turned out to be a spectacular performance and uh, you know I wanted to get more involved with Broadway in New Orleans and, and Ace Theater and the New Orleans Theater Association so I reached out to them just recently and they just flooded me with all kinds of, of valuable information and historic information of New Orleans and, and the, the virtual tours and the galleries and the history and part of it was Mahalia Jackson now Mahalia Jackson was born in New Orleans, and in 1911, it was her birth, where she was raised by her aunt from the age of four until Mahalia moved to Chicago in 1927. Growing up, Mahalia entertained her family with with hymns and gospel tunes. Her voice was naturally booming. Uh, Duke Paul did not allow secular music in the house, but Mahalia's cousin would smuggle in rhythm and blues records by uh, Bessie Smith, Mae Rainey, and others that the two teenagers listened to in secret, and which influenced Mahalia's appreciation for soulful music. She had begun supplementing her income as a teenager, working as a laundress, a hotel maid, and a babysitter, before finally recording in 1947, Success, move up a little higher. During the next decade, Mahalia packed houses in Europe and hosted her own Sunday evening radio show on CBS, and in 1956 propelled gospel music into America's mainstream with her performance on the Ed Sullivan Show. In 1961, Mahalia sang at John F. Kennedy's inaugural ball. 
She was a supporter of the civil rights movement, singing to a crowd of 250,000 at the March on Washington at the bequest of her friend, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In 1963, that's, you know, that's 54 years ago, she sang again for Dr. King at his funeral in 1968, after which she disappeared from public political activities completely. When Mahalia died of a heart attack in 1972, both New Orleans and Chicago paid tribute. Thousands of fans filed past her casket, first in the Windy City and then again down in New Orleans here. Throughout her career, Mahalia stayed true to her, her genre of gospel music. Nothing, when you sing gospel, you have a feeling there is a, a cure for what's wrong, she said. She was a mentor to Aretha Franklin, a, a benefactress to Mahalia Jackson Scholarship Foundation and winner of the inaugural Grammy Award in category of gospel music and other religious recordings. The Mahalia Jackson Theater for Performing Arts, located inside the Louis Armstrong Park, reopened in January 2009, and of course it's named Mahalia Jackson Theater. If you'd like more information on Mahalia Jackson, the, the folks over at the Mahalia Jackson Theater were sweet enough to send this over to me. You can go to www.mahaliajacksontheater.com and put a backslash in there, history, and it tells you such a great theatrical history Everything from Mahalia Jackson, all the past performances that were there, it's really a fascinating read. And of course, Coca-Cola takes pride in, in being at the Jackson, uh, Mahalia Jackson Theater, Ace Theater Group, Broadway in New Orleans, and the New Orleans Theater Concessions, and the New Orleans Theater Association all in at the same time uh, with Mahalia Jackson Theater. So you're listening to Out and About in a Big Easy. I'm your host, PJ Larive, and you're hearing us on iHeartRadio, Fox Sports, New Orleans, and KEIB Los Angeles and San Bernardino, beautiful California, beautiful New Orleans. Hold on one second. Let's take a couple commercials here and pay some bills. Every year, hundreds of children in the New Orleans area enter the foster care system through no fault of their own. For many of these kids, the experience will have devastating effects on their young lives. That's where CASA comes in. Court-appointed special advocates, or CASAs, are volunteers just like you who are trained to advocate for these abused and neglected children in court. You could be the voice of a foster kid. Make a lifelong difference for a foster child in your community. To volunteer or donate, go to CASANewOrleans.org. That's C-A-S-A NewOrleans.org. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, ProfessorPools.com, ProfessorPools.com. If you have a broken swimming pool, a broken spa, your pool needs to be chemically treated, it's green, it's nasty, it's whatever from, you just didn't touch it for six months or five months during the winter and it's green and nasty, call Professor pools.com look them up on the internet you got a beautiful website professorpools.com queen elizabeth once caught beads at ronigra and she returned to england with what are now known as the crown jewels when he travels he brings central time with him i don't always drive in new orleans but when i do i prefer a ford f-150 he is the most ordinary man in new orleans with the most extraordinary deals, only at the Mark Ford. Drive safely, my friends. In New Orleans, everyone knows a woman who hunts, but you may not know her struggle to find stylish apparel until now. New Orleans' own St. Hugh makes field wear she can wear from St. Bernard Marsh to St. Charles Avenue. Also, Out and About listeners can save 15% on any order through code EASY15. Also worth mentioning, orders over $50 always ship free with code FREESHIP. 
shop St. Hugh 